Good morning. We were thinking yesterday about God inspiring his word. In other words, instead of it just being a written word that we can read with our eyes and try and understand with our minds, suddenly the Holy Spirit, who has, which has been given to us as the very gift of God, will find some of these words coming alive, coming alive in a strange way. Now, I'm going to look today at some of these words which have affected me in my lifetime and things which have affected me I will try and share with you for a moment. You will see quite simply that they are just simple words, no more than that. But behind those words, behind those words, lies a great source of power. Listen to this one, for instance. The Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues throughout all generations. That's from Psalm 100, verse 5. Now, it's a simple verse. But I remember the first time I read that particular verse. No, I'd read it many times, you know, over and over again. But suddenly, that particular verse suddenly shone out in my heart. And I remember the power of that verse when I read it through the power of the Spirit at that time. The Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. And I looked back on the history of the church and I looked back on all that God had done over the centuries, over the millennia, and I realized it was as true today as it was then. His gift is lasts forever and ever and cannot be taken away throughout all the generations. And I thought back on the generations of priests who had gone before me and the generations of ministers who had gone before me and all those who had spoken to the people of God who had gone before me, and I realized it was the same word, the same powerful word, that had gone out through all these different generations and it held just as good today as it held then. See, God speaking and reassuring and proclaiming once again truths which were important. Again, in the Psalms, and the Psalms are a great source of these words. 145 verse 9, The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. And as I looked out at the world around me, I suddenly saw that God was holding everything in existence at all times. Jesus says he is the very word of God. He holds every atom in existence at all times. It's beyond all understanding. God truly loves his creation. He really does love his creation. I you know when I celebrate the Eucharist and I give out communion and I look, come back to the altar, and there's a piece of bread or a drop of wine left in the chalice, I consume it, and I say sometimes a prayer out loud, but I always say it quietly as well. I say quite simply, Lord, I pray for all those who cannot be with us today. I pray for the living, I pray for the dead, and I pray for the whole of your creation, that as Jesus has lived and died and given us this wonderful sacrament, so the power of this sacrament will move out into the whole of your creation and bring blessing to every single part of it, every atom of it, that your power will flood out and bless everything that exists. See, this, these, are, these are a powerful statement. And God says, this is what you have, must proclaim. And this is why when I go to the altar and celebrate the Eucharist, it's such an important event for me. I look out at a church sometimes, and on weekdays, there might be just half a dozen people present. That's all. Lots of empty chairs and just a few people present. But you see, the number of individuals in front of me, well, that's not important. Because I'm coming before the Father, and I'm presenting before the Father the death of Jesus. And I'm claiming the blessing of the Father on the whole of his creation, upon every single individual who has ever lived every sing single individual who is alive at the moment, every individual who will ever live in the future, but more than that, upon every single atom of his creation, I'm claiming his blessing. I'm claiming the blessing of the death of Jesus for all of, of that, that, that exists. Can you begin to see the power of this as it goes out? It, it influences everything and affects everything it comes into contact with. It's like a great big pebble being dropped 
into a pool of water, and the ripples go out further and further and further and have greater and greater effect because the power of the Spirit doesn't allow those ripples to die down. If you drop a pebble into a pool of water, the ripples go out, but as the energy goes from them, the ripples get less and less. But when the power of the Spirit is going with it, these ripples maintain their height. They keep going, they hit the bank, they come back, they move again across the surface of this particular pond of God's creation. And we're never quite sure where those words go or what the, the effect of them might be. The power of God released through the Holy Spirit through words which are in fact spoken. It's a strange understanding of what God is doing in the world and he's using you and he's using me to do it. So as we act on the revealed word of God through the Holy Spirit, those words that we speak and those things that we do have an immense effect on the people who live around us. We stop there for a moment, come back tomorrow.